What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today, I am just now getting on the game because I've been at work all day. But we are going to be checking out Uber Crafting, okay? I'm in my Eternal Realm character because I have so much juicy loot and so many Ubers from last and previous season. This is actually just the first one. Where's all my other stuff? Holy crap, this is missed equipment. Good lord, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Um... Golly almighty, how much stuff do I have in here? I mean, I went in on these characters last season. Holy crud, I went in. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, a lot of staff of Liam Neeson. I love that. Okay, cool. So, we are going to be checking out Uber Unique Crafting. Now, what I do want to do is I'm going to go over to Kmart. Um, and we're going to kind of just show how all this works. Um, <clears throat> No, Vern. So, my seasonal stuff every season... I just let it go to the void. I don't keep any of it. I don't keep any of it. So, how Uber Unique Crafting works. First and foremost, let's go over to the Occultist. Because this is where you are going to be <clears throat> crafting all the juicy, juicy Uber Uniques. We're going to come over to... Uh, what is it? Craft... Oh, is it not here? I thought it was at the Occultist. They must have... They must have changed it. Oh my god, this is embarrassing for the video. Um, so yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, I think it's going to be just at... So I do know that you will be salvaging here at the blacksmith. But I'm assuming you're crafting down at the potion lady. Yes, my cultist. Craft. Transmute. Summoning items. As well as your resplendent sparks so here we go guys here goes all six uber uniques what is this one two three four five six <clears throat> i feel like i'm missing one right grandpapa ring of starless skies melted heart on dario's doombringer i guess that is all of them huh no where's the staff at the staff isn't in here so the staff isn't in here because I'm on my Barbarian and I can't craft the staff. So I can only craft the ones that I can normally get from, I'm guessing, the drops. So you still have to be a Druid or a Sork to craft those. But it is very, very cool to see all this. Now, do note when we're crafting this, you do notice that the item does say 925 of 925 with all five uh, affixes. And everything is capped. So... Let's go over to the blacksmith because this is where you are going to be salvaging your uber uniques. And trust me when I say this, that this is pain. Okay, so we're going to salvage our ring of starless skies, which has been fixed today. So for all those who didn't know, it has been fixed. So let's go ahead and, and sacrifice. Do we wish to destroy this? Oh, hours. 800 runs last season. 800 runs and we're destroying this. This is sucks. This absolutely sucks. 800 runs countless hours blood sweat and tears all right so remember we need five sparks to craft whatever we want boom we got one resplendent spark just one so i'm going to talk about the cost and effect in just a second but it is just one so let's go ahead and salvage the rest of these Oh, countless hours gone. So it looks like the sparks are not in any particular tab. The sparks, I'm assuming, are going to be in here. I'm looking. Yes, five resplendent sparks. So that is nice, even though you're not really taking up a whole lot of space with this. This is really nice that the resplendent sparks are in the salvage tab. That makes sense. We have five the horror modem the horror okay so now we're gonna go down to our potion lady um our alchemist here let me go ahead and get this out of the way and now we are going to be able to go craft so we're going to be able to craft anything but do note here something else it is 50 million gold to craft so if you're like me and you spend all of your money upgrading and more importantly, re-rolling your affixes on your gear pieces. You will have a hard time crafting this. But in reality, it's not. It's like what? Five Tree of Whisper turn-ins? Five Tree of Whisper turn-ins? Six maybe? If you get a low four million roll? 
you know what I mean? Seven. And then you'll have 50 million, no problem. Just run like 20 dungeons and you're going to be fine. But it is 50 million to do this plus the five resplendent sparks. Now, I do not have a grandfather. I've never had a grandfather. I do have all the rest or I have gotten all the rest. So let's go ahead and craft El Grande Father. Grandpapa. So five resplendent sparks, 50 million gold. Craft. Let's check this out. Let's go ahead and highlight it. We're never getting rid of you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you, Grandpapa. So we got to max out Grandpapa. 72 all stats. Of course, everything's maxed. Increased life. No durability loss. And this is absolutely insane. We just slap this in here. And then I am invincible. Uh, I am invincible now. So just so everybody knows watching this video. But yes, guys, that is how crafting works in Diablo 4 Season 3 for the brand new Uber Unique Crafting. Um, I know I'm a little late to the party because I had to work all day and this went live probably about seven hours ago, roughly. But I wanted to bring you my thoughts and concerns about this and just showcase the actual crafting system. Now, before we get to the bad parts, let's talk about the good parts. I do think that this is absolutely fantastic. I think... Now, being able to craft an uber unique from, you know, salvaging other uber uniques and duplications that you don't need. Now, when I talked about this in the patch notes video about this, this, you know, in the eternal realm where I am, I ended up with five Harlequin crests, five shakos last season. Okay. So I could salvage four of them plus something else and then just craft this grandpapa that I needed. Right. So if this was here last season, I could have ended with the grandfather last season and actually been able to use it for a month or so during the season if it popped in, right, during the same time this season. So <clears throat> I do think it is very, very cool that we do have a crafting system in order to get the particular uber unique that you are looking for, whether it's Shaco, you know, grandfather, whatever it is for whatever character that you're actually playing, right? You know, that way you can actually maximize your build because really perfecting your build and having a character on this story and doing all these things and getting the items that you need to really be satisfied and having the most fun possible with your character is is definitely where, where it's at. Like, that's what we all want to do. So, <clears throat> I think the crafting system as a whole is awesome. I do think that this needed to be in the game. I think this is great. Uh, I really was hoping that it was going to be much better for casuals and for solo grinding, which now we'll get into the bad part. <clears throat> now, the initial outrage um, when this first went live a few hours ago was the fact that it is five resplendent sparks to, to salvage or to um, craft. That's not bad. No, no problems with that. The issue is it takes five uber uniques to make one. Now, this season, I've been lucky. I have 105 durial kills or runs, and I've obtained four uber uniques during the season. So, <clears throat> I've been very lucky in my RNG this season. Okay, I've been very lucky. Now, I'm, I'm pretty casual in, in all realms of this game. <clears throat> and I think that I still grind a, a heavy ton. Now, I know I only had just under 900 runs or Durio runs last season, which is still a lot. There's people that have done, you know, four or 5,000 runs in a season, which is absolutely insane. But I only did 800, okay? Um, I really was only trying to get each Uber Unique, and then that was it. And I ended up getting multiple dupe, dupes. I got a, two Starless Skies, two Melted Hearts, I think, five um, Crests, and then I got Doombringer and, and Andarials. So, um, you know, but I grind a fair amount. You know, even being a streamer and a content creator, I farm pretty much, you know, every single day I'm playing this game for, you know, four or five hours at a time, maybe, maybe less given the day. I know my schedule's changed a lot more, but I'm a pretty hard casual grinder. Right now, for the one percenters like Rob and some of these other guys, which I love and respect that grind crazy hours, this system at five to one isn't bad. Now, I don't want this system to be super easy. I don't want it to be super easy to just be able to make whatever you want. 
Um, you know, you find like if I found these two, I'm like, oh crap, I don't want these. I want Shaco, you know, crap, you know, salvage two, and then be able to make whatever you want. Um, my problem with it is, is I think we can all agree that Diablo is a fairly easy game, and it's definitely casually driven. So for casuals. Getting five Uber Uniques in a season, if you are playing season, just seems like a stretch to make whichever one that you want. I mean, there's only seven total. Like, this is six, and because I'm a barbarian, it doesn't show the staff, but there's only seven. So, unless you get many duplicates, but let's say you got one of each. Like, what if I got these five, and I want to keep all of them? Well, now I got to grind even more in order to get the one that I want. <clears throat> so I think that five to one is really bad. Another big issue is the majority of players are solo players and that's their like mojo. That's what they want to do. And they want to just grind solo, have the accomplishment and pride of doing it as a solo player. <clears throat> but the Durio grind itself is very, very hard as a solo player. So if you aren't doing this in groups, you are, you're going to get really, really stuck behind the curve. It's going to be very hard to try to get the exact one you want outside of RNG. So as a solo player or even a casual solo player, this crafting system is really going to be outside of your realm. This is going to be for 99 or 99 percent of players are not really going to see this or even do these crafting methods. Uh, it's really for the top 1% of grinders who are really grinding this game. So what I will say is, one, I would encourage players if you you know, want to stick aside your pride and just play in a group, definitely do that. You'll actually be able to access this you know, easier. And then two, let me skip over to the patch notes really, really quickly because the patch notes actually showcased that there is a buff. Oops that there is a buff to the Uber uniques on the ground. Okay. So <clears throat> the drop chance for Uber uniques acquired outside of Uber Durial encounters has been increased. So this is good. I don't know what the drop rate is for those who do know the drop rates for Uber Durial is 2%. It is a 2% drop rate with Duriel. Now that's the last time I did the math. You guys let me know down in the comments below what maybe the new drop rates are. Rob's team at the start of the day found an Uber unique. They found a shake or excuse me, an Indarials. Um <clears throat> about 20 minutes into the patch going live, they found it in a level 86 vault. Level 86 vault and found an Indarials. So I'm hoping that through some testing, we're going to kind of try to see if there's really, <clears throat> excuse me, any up or any increase in the drop rates of Uber Uniques in the overworld and dungeons. Um, to this day of me playing this game from early beta, early on, you know, with access to today, the day of recording, I have never found an Uber Unique outside of Durial. Zero. I found zero. I'm hoping my community has found some, but hopefully the drop rate will be a little bit better and we'll find some. Uh, with all that aside, I do love that this is here. It's just a bummer that it's five to one. Um, I think three to one or even two to one would be more fair. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know down in the, in the chat, guys, my community. You guys let me know what you think. And yeah, guys, like the video, comment again, comment. Let me know what you guys think about the crafting system. All in all, I like it, but the five to one ratio is just too steep, um, especially for casuals. It's just, I think three to one would be the most optimal um, in this game because there's people that have gone thousands of runs and found zero Uber Uniques because it's all RNG. So uh, yeah, I think three to one would be probably the most fair. This should be difficult. It should still be tough to get these because they're most the you know some of the best items in the game. So I don't think it should be super super easy. But five to one is a stretch. It should be three to one, two to one if you know for casuals maybe. But I think three to one is pretty fair. Let me know down in the comments what you think, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.